Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you guys today with another DIY on another choker bracelet. I mean another choker bracelet, another choker necklace. I know you guys are really getting tired of me doing chokers, but I have fell in love with making chokers, y'all. It's just, I don't know, it's that, that, I think that's the newest thing for me. But anyway, um, the choker that I'm gonna do today has to do with pearls and these are the items that you will need to do this DIY first of all y'all know I always tell y'all how much I love fax suede cord so the choker we're going to be using I mean I'm going to be making is going to be made with hot pink fax suede cord and of course like I always say you're going to need 12 inches of this okay you're going to need three 16 millimeter pearls you're going to need six bead caps one lobster claw class. You're going to need some ribbon closures. And this wire that I use is 20 millimeter wire. So you're gonna need 20 millimeter wire. You're going to need two jump rings and two rondelle beads, okay? If you would like to see this tutorial, please stay tuned. The very first thing that we're going to do, and I'm sorry y'all, you're gonna need your wire cutters, <laughs> and you're gonna need your round nose pliers. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our 20 gauge um, wire, and this is silver plated 20 gauge wire, and we're going to, of course, you know, make our loop, like we always do. Then bend it. And we're going to add in one of our jump rings, one of our large jump rings. Okay, and this is what you should have. Then we're going to go ahead and, to, and secure it onto the wire. So we just take it around and take it around. And then we will snap off the excess of the wire. And we're going to use these pliers because these are round nose, but in between this is the flat part so we can actually use these to squeeze in the excess wire okay now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start assembling our choker so we're going to go ahead and add one bead cap then we're going to add a bead another bead cap and then we're going to add one of the rondelle beads, another bead cap, another bead, another bead cap. And do you see how this is coming along? Another rondelle bead, another bead cap, the very last bead. And the very last bead cap. Now this is what you should have. And this is really beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and give me one minute. Okay guys, I am back. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and close off and add our very last jump ring, okay? So we're going to close it off. Make a loop. Okay, pinch it over just a tad. This is what you should have. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. You could leave it like this. Well, not leave it like this, but if you wanted to, instead of adding three beads, you could really add one or two beads. It's completely up to you. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the very last jump ring. So we're just gonna see what I'm doing. And you just push it right on through, okay? And this is what you should have. And now we're gonna go ahead and close it off. And just wrap it around. A couple times okay 
and that is that and this is what you should have guys isn't this beautiful now we're going to go ahead and, and cut off the excess and we're going to take our flat nose pliers and push it in so we won't get stuck when we wear it okay and this is what you should have now my suggestion to you is to bend it see how I'm bending it just bend it just a tad bit so that when you wear it on your neck okay guys so that when you wear it it will pretty much still snug to your neck okay so the next thing as a matter of fact the next thing you're gonna have to do too is make sure that your that your uh, your jump rings are to the side like make sure that they're turned to the side okay so now we're going to go ahead and add on our fax weight cord and y'all know how we do this just make sure that it's even then we come up and we put it through well we pull it through i'm sorry y'all oh i think i did it I did it the wrong way, sorry. Instead of it going in this way, it goes in that. It's gonna go this way. to that part like I tell you guys to do all the time see and that is what you should have and then we're gonna go ahead and just put the end on and look it came out even y'all it's even yay go up make sure it's even and we're gonna add one of our ribbon closures on the end this is, as a matter of fact, this is, wait a minute. Okay, we have both of them in there. Y'all want to know, know how to do, squeeze it. Squeeze it on one side, squeeze it on the other side to make sure that it's not coming out. And then you go across. Like that. And this is what you should have. Okay, I'm going to finish the other one off and come back and then we're going to finish it up. Okay, everybody, I am back. You know what, y'all? I forgot y'all know I like chain so I got up I bought the chain and this is what you should have I had to get two more jump rings because I have to add the lobster claw clasp and the chain on guys okay so that's what we're gonna go do I want you guys to stay tuned because at the end of the video I am going to have it on Rebecca so that you can see what it actually looks like on Close it off. That's one. Now we're going to do two. And this is really different. I haven't seen anybody do anything like this yet. Anyway, we're adding our chain. Okay. 
And there you have it, guys. Beautiful. Look at that. All right. I thank you guys for tuning into my channel today. If you are new to my channel and like what you see, please subscribe. Hit the bell up on the side so that you can get notifications on when I will be uploading more videos. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Y'all have a wonderful day. And don't forget, at the end of the video, there will be pictures. Peace and blessings, y'all, and have a wonderful Sunday. Bye.